Iran is preparing to supply Russia with hundreds of ballistic missiles with a range of 120 kilometers, Reuters reports, citing sources in European intelligence. The publication notes that dozens of Russian troops are currently training in Iran to use the FAF-360 ballistic missile system with hundreds of satellite-guided weapons expected to be imminently delivered to Russia for its war in Ukraine. Russian defense officials signed a contract with Iranian officials in Tehran on December 13th for the FAF-360 and other ballistic missile systems built by Iran's state-owned aerospace industries organization called Ababil. The publication writes, The two European intelligence sources did not provide exact timelines for the potential delivery of FAF-360 missiles to Russia, but indicated that it will happen soon. A representative of the U.S. National Security Council has already stated that the U.S. and its NATO allies are prepared to deliver a swift and severe response if Iran were to move forward with such transfers. It is worth noting that Iranian FAF-360 missiles can strike targets within a radius of 120 kilometers and have warheads weighing 150 kilograms. A few years ago, Defense Express reported that experts consider Iranian FAF-360 missiles to be analogues to American HIMARS. In particular, they have satellite guidance capabilities. According to Reuters, the supply of such missiles could allow Russia to use its own long-range missiles for striking targets beyond the front lines, while the Iranian weaponry would be intended for closer-range actions. It should be noted that rumors about Iran supplying ballistic missiles to Russia have already appeared in the media. In February of this year, Reuters also reported that Russia had received hundreds of Zolfagar missiles which can destroy targets at distances of up to 700 kilometers. However, such rumors have not been confirmed by Ukrainian intelligence or other official sources. Former British Army officer Colonel Richard Kemp writes in a column for the British publication, The Telegraph, that Putin's war against Ukraine is moving to the countries of Africa and the Middle East. At the same time, the special forces of the main directorate of intelligence do not lose any chance for operations against Russian formations and their allies. It is noted that most recently, Kiev claims to have supplied rebel groups in Mali with intelligence that led to an attack against Russian Wagner Group mercenaries, in which 84 were reportedly killed. The Telegraph says that Kiev has sought military opportunities even further afield, perhaps in an echo of Churchill's Special Operations Executive, which sent military operatives to establish a second front in Europe before D-Day was even a possibility. Since at least last year, Ukrainian special forces have endeavoured to damage Russian military capabilities by attacking elsewhere in the world. In May, General Kirill Budanov, chief of Ukraine's military intelligence, said... We conduct operations aimed at reducing Russian military potential anywhere where it's possible. That includes Sudan, where Russian mercenaries are supporting the rebel Rapid Support Forces, which have been fighting against government troops since last spring. In the Middle East, Ukrainian special forces have reportedly been attacking Russian troops and destroying military equipment in Syria since at least the beginning of this year, along with anti-regime forces in the country. Since the start of the war in Ukraine, Russia has shifted some of its combat forces from Syria to increase the number of troops there, and Kyiv's aim will be to apply military pressure to reverse the move. Efforts of Ukrainian special forces in Africa and the Middle East may be little more than pins with minimal strategic effort. But in a war where the country's survival is at stake, and in the absence of Western support, it has no choice but to beat its enemy wherever it can. Undermining Russian criminal activity around the world is clearly in our interests as well as Kyiv's interests. Putin's cooperation with Iran, particularly in Syria, contributes to the destabilization of the Middle East, which we are witnessing today. Kemp is sure. According to Colonel Kemp, the countries of the Middle East, which were once in awe of Russian military power, have finally realized that it was only an illusion.